and welcome to another AQA GCSE 8300 series. This is the June 2017 past papers. It's the third paper in the higher tier. It is a calculator paper, so we are allowed to use calculators. And we're picking up in question 12, which reads a r to the power b all raised to the power 4 is equal to 16 r to the power 20 where a and b are positive integers work out a and b oh my goodness so this is just a simple test of our law of indices so um, a r to the power b all raised to the power 4 is equal to a to the power 4 times r to the power 4b. So a to the power 4 is equal to 16 because we've got here because a r to the power 4 is equal to 16 r to the power 20. So and then r to the power 4b, or oh, sorry, it's just 4b is equal to 20. So r to the power 4b is equal to r to the power 20. So 4b is equal to 20, assuming r is not 1 or 0. So um, 4b is equal to 20. So if a to the power 4 is equal to 16, then a is equal to the fourth root of 16, which I happen to know is 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. And 4 times b is 20, so b is equal to 20 divided by 4, which is equal to 5. Now, in case you didn't know that the fourth root of 16 is 2, I'm just going to show you how I do it on my calculator, although that's not that helpful because you'll have a different calculator. But if you hold on, I'll just grab my calculator. OK, so I have my calculator. So I'm just going to type 16 inverse x to the power y 4 equals 2. So that's how I would have done it. Um, the thing is, your calculator might be slightly different. Um, so that's why it's really important to know your calculator. So you take your calculator that you know that you've practiced with into your exam. Uh, because questions like this might catch you out if you're using a borrowed calculator. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.